Hello everybody, welcome back. Let's have a look at Bitcoin and some other quick charts uh, on Sunday, which is the crappiest of all trading days, uh, because we're sitting back waiting for traditional markets to open. Um, so most of the time, Sundays are one of reset, so anything that's taken place over the weekend often he has a little bit of a pullback, waiting for Monday morning when um, when when trading resumes in the broader context. Um, but if anyone of you, which some of you are obviously members of the Patreon, we were doing that stream on Friday and said, look, um, everything closed as Jacques expected in the green. OK, we pulled back and then bounced and, and left and landed in the green and closed in the green on on, uh, on Friday for traditional markets. That's going to bode well for some upside or at least stability for the crypto market over the weekend. But Sundays often you have a bit of, they often have a bit of a pullback waiting for the Monday mornings to open. Uh, for uh, you know, at least just forex markets and uh, you know commodities and indices, stocks and stuff. Um, but yeah, some of these things that we were looking at, I remember. I mean, they're still here, really. Ocean has won. We've already hit our main target. Um, blah 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 blah. You know, the list goes on. Which is why you should join the Patreon. Links in the description below. Seven pounds fifty a month. Two live streams a week. Can't complain with that. Right, so let's think about Bitcoin then instead of all these altcoins. Because we were talking about that yesterday just on the normal videos about how um, altcoins look reasonably good with the Bitcoin dominance rejection t uh, taking place exactly as expected, although it being about two weeks late. Um, it's not for me to go back in time to the people who are calling me all kinds of horrible names on the internet for saying it's going to get rejected in here. There is a chance we get rejected at 42% dominance, okay? <laughs> don't hate me but they decided to hate me and so maybe i'll revisit that if i have time i've got to take my kids swimming today so maybe i'll uh to the side of the pool revisit some of those comments two weeks ago you idiot man 42 percent. we're going to the moon straight away don't you see that anyway that's enough of that so let's think about Bitcoin. So Bitcoin's still surfing um, all major moving averages to the up, reclaiming all of them at the moment. These last, uh, well, it looks like the last 36 hours or so. Also, this uh, this trend line, this diagonal trend line, they're not my favourites, I have to say, diagonal trend lines. They, they are what they are. They're more of a guide. We did break down and hit that 50 exponential on the, on, uh, on the uh, four hourly. Pump signal generated back down here at 16,800. Uh, so we're a massive, huge... Hundred dollars higher after that pump signal. I know what it sounds like. It's uh, it's you know, it's it's not great, but it's still in play. Okay, it's still in play. This there's, there's still there could still easily be more on this, and especially if we're above all major moving averages on this four hourly. Now the thing to focus on is that do we have any kind of bearish divergence, and we do, which is unfortunate. Which is why I think today, if any day, um, today or tomorrow, we have a little pullback, especially with the way that everything closed on Friday, which is like I say, quite significantly in the green consolidations for things like the S and P. Which closed quite dramatically. You know, at one point it was two and a half percent up from its lows, hitting this major level of support on the daily. Uh, again, you know, we closed above most moving averages. It's only the two hundreds that are above us. And I have speculated for a little while now that this was the absolute low for uh, traditional markets for at least the S and P. Uh, we might come down to revisit that low at some point over the next few weeks, maybe next month or so. But the, I think there's a good chance that that would be it. And that's based around the Forex side of things that I've been talking about, you know, with the dollar, even though I expect a bounce from the dollar, a decent bounce as well, <clears throat> bigger than the one we've we've had, a bounce to take us to potentially um, close to 108. And the euro, again, you know, bounced from this level and, and uh, I'll be looking for it to retest its golden cross and maybe even the bottom of this trend line or maybe even the 200 simple moving average, about 103. All of this would show strength in the dollar in the short term, but yeah, there is rhythm to these charts. Look at the Dixie getting rejected on the 10 exponential. This was a very, very, very strong chance that this was going to happen because on this giant uptrend, to which I told everybody we were going to be in a giant uptrend um, two years ago, when we're around September. So a long time ago now, I said the dollar's going to go bullish. People were like, what are you talking about, man? I said the dollar's going to go bullish. That's what I'm talking about. And then look how bullish it was. The 10 exponential, this is a weekly chart, is where it basically ran up for the most part. 10, 10, 10 to 10, 10 to 10, 10, 10. And so we broke down. So this is the first time we've actually tested a, a, a 10 exponential and there's a steep projection from that. So the charts have now started to have rhythm. And on a fundamental basis, I've said it before, but I'll tell you again, you know, the ECB and the Federal Reserve are going to be raising rates more or less at the same speed now, which basically should add a bit more stability to the euro, which means that if the euro is in a bullish posture, maybe we can treat it as a bullish chart. And it is a bullish chart at the moment. And so maybe we should treat it as such, right? Doesn't mean we can't pull back. Golden crosses get retested. That happens very, very often. And so that would mean 
you'd, you'd see a spike in the dollar. Uh, definitely means that. Uh, but if we break down below here, it's a fail breakout. And at the moment, it's a bullish chart. So we treat it as a bullish chart, but we still expect to pull back into that at some point down the line, maybe a week or two or, or, or wherever. Um, and that's what we'd be expecting, but it's a bullish chart. So we should respect the, what we're seeing here and take it seriously, um, uh, but also be cautious because we know that everything is still very vulnerable and, and um, crypto especially is pretty weak, but it still looks quite good. So long story short, things are working out as actually expected, but today I would expect to see a pullback given the bearish divergence on the Bitcoin four hourly chart, um, no golden cross in sight as yet. The pump signal yet to play out. So if we are if we are going to pull back, we could pull back to sixteen thousand nine hundred. Yeah, that's fine. But I'd be looking for a deeper pullback to around about sixteen thousand eight hundred, um, and that would just be today. Anything below there would be a bit of a problem. This would uh, be exactly where the uh, the breakout signal, uh, not the breakout signal, the pump signal on the itchy cloud was. You know, so sixteen thousand eight hundred is still very much okay for um, for a buying a dip or an attempt to buy a dip or, or a long and then we'd be looking for a bounce and a continuation of this small uptrend that we've got right now that doesn't have to happen today it doesn't have to happen it's just an, when, when you trade markets especially with a with a, with your eye on the broader picture we've been you know forex and uh, and stocks and indices uh, you will notice especially when trading crypto um, primarily uh, with your eye on these other things as well that crypto does sometimes have a life of its own over the weekend but it often just gives up everything that it's taken uh, that, that, that it was given but this weekend hasn't been great for bitcoin let's face it we reclaimed the 200 exponential on this four hourly and that's basically where we stayed spike up down to retest it sideways 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 and while we've gone sideways we haven't bearish divergence we're also having a negative cross it's all very much above the zero point so i wouldn't be particularly worried for a giant breakdown not at this current stage uh, i'll be looking for a pullback if anything and again 16,800 would be the place still think that altcoins are offering the better setups and we can just have a quick look at ethereum uh, to which we can see golden cross we had our golden cross and we've been surfing that so ethereum has the better chart but it will certainly perform like uh, bitcoin so if bitcoin pulls back this pulls back and again if this pulls back we'd love to see a pullback into the golden cross which is about two percent from where we are right now that would be a great place to think about maybe taking a position in ethereum just because uh, i don't look it doesn't look the, the downside doesn't look very steep although it's very likely it doesn't look very dramatic so if we do get pulled back i imagine it would be a buy the dip on the short term time frames being these four hourlies for a continuation of this small but constructive rally that we're seeing at the moment in uh, in everything it would also complement the bitcoin dominance chart it would complement the euro the dollar the yen and uh, the s p so it, it seems okay but nothing's going to go straight up uh, obviously i don't promote leverage or anything like that so i'm not suggesting you go off and 200x trades or whatever i'm just talking about risk to reward at the moment and um, over a couple of weeks um, for a continuation of this small but like i say constructive trend there's really not much more to say about it if you like the video please like it if you didn't like it just like it anyway and leave some comments because the algorithm loves comments especially at this stage in the video because it shows retention and i'd appreciate that because i'm trying to trying to give you um insights into the charts without selling you some form of hopium here or saying ridiculously fantastic amazing things that will not come true I'm trying to explain the charts to you in a, in a quick summary which obviously you know for the most part is, is is not really how it's supposed to be done you're supposed to really study these and break them down and look at all these other things that I look at in a bit more depth and, and obviously that's what I do so I try I try to blurt out within a 10 minute period what's taking me an hour or an hour and a half or so so just have a think about um you know supporting my channel with a little comment okay and that's all I'm asking uh, on a daily basis for the rest of your life thank you very much and uh, have a nice weekend take it easy